guys, welcome back to another video. So those of you that have watched the channel, uh, well, since the start really, will remember the green g and that I tried out, the USA one. And I've been meaning to try some more. So this is the Indonesian made uh, g and Tribute Series Legacy. So it's their sort of evolution of, uh, you know, the S-type guitar sort of thing. So we'll go over what you get, first of all, because um, these guitars are Andertons and Guitar Guitar at the moment, new are all on sale, so they, they offer a, an interesting sort of consideration at least. So body-wise, it's a pretty lightweight uh, poplar body. I'm not sure how many pieces, but you know, poplar body, nice and light. And that's on this maple neck, and it is the maple neck and maple cap, as opposed to the one-piece maple neck. It's just a, a plastic nut, but it's nicely cut, and you know, no real issues with that, to be fair and I'll show you the headstock there. I'll get onto the machine heads in just a minute. Uh, the pickups, if you didn't know with GNL with uh, these guitars and their Tele-type ones, uh, they all come with um, Made in USA Alnico 5 pickups, uh, which is uh, a selling point for GNL, but again, we'll get onto those in a minute. This two point sort of high mass uh, bridge system and tremolo, which works really well actually. Really nice and smooth and um, a good, you know, good, genuinely a good system. And the back, you have this full size trend block there um, as well. So that's the sort of overall paper specs then, if you will. But let's talk about what I actually like and, uh, and don't like about the guitar. So the first thing that I sort of noticed with this guitar is that like a lot of the lower end Squires, it's a little bit slimmer. If I can get the camera, maybe that's a better angle, I don't know. Uh, it's a little bit slimmer than a normal Fender guitar and the contours are a bit sort of less contoury. Um, which, you know, I don't really like. I like that sort of vintage style, full thickness, deep contours, you know, but that's, that is being pretty picky to be fair. I, I'm just telling you what the, what the body shape is like. Um, with the neck, it's um, similar to the Player Series actually, similar satin feel on the back but it's also sat in on the front, which means you get it dirty very, very quickly. Uh, the carve is uh, a little bit slimmer than a normal player series, but bigger than a modern day classic vibe. So I quite like the carve. I do like a bigger neck, but this one, you know, it's not big, but it's, it's not too small either. And, you know, fit and finish wise, like I expect on most modern guitars really, wherever they're made, is, um, you know, it's fine. You're not gonna, you're not gonna have any issues with that. So, Couple of things to talk about then. Another thing with gear now with these, instead of having your normal volume and two tones, you get a volume and um, treble and bass control. So what that means is that you can think of it like um, like like an additional way to dial in the voice of the pickups, and it's not like changing the treble and bass on the amp. It's it, it changes the voice of the pickups, and I'm split on whether I like it or not because on the one hand. If you're a tweaker, a bit like the Clapton Strat, there are some very, very nice tones to be found when you're dialing that in, but they're not necessarily there straight away. You've, you've kind of got to find them. Um, but at the same time, it is cool to have that much sort of options on your pickups, because usually with Strats, you've either got a great set of pickups and it just works, or it just doesn't work. So this kind of gets around that, but again, I can see why some people wouldn't like it. Uh, the only other thing to really say, which I don't like and think is a bit of an issue, but it might just be this one, but they come with the standard sort of bottom of the line, um, you know, uh, machine heads that the cheapest Squire ones do. You know, these just unbranded die cast machine heads. And honestly, they are not that good. If this was mine, I would be changing them day one. But, you know, I mean, sort of bear in mind that on my other guitars, I've got Clouson, Gotos, Grovers. I'm a bit of a machine head freak because I just appreciate good machine heads. And these are not great machine heads. I, I would be changing them straight away. I mean, even at this price point, the other guitars probably do have nicer, better quality machine heads, but, you know, don't have USA pickups or unique sort of systems or whatever. But it's just a bit of a criticism, and if it's the same on all of them, you definitely want to know about it. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to say. What I'm going to do to try and demonstrate what I mean about this system is we're going to go into a totally clean amp, not to get a great tone, but just to exaggerate what exactly these controls do compared to changing it on your amp. And then we'll just play some usual sort of bits and bobs across the pickups, 
and uh, and that'll be it. So I'm going to go and clean this guitar now because it's already got pretty dirty. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. So what I wanted to do first of all is just show you the treble and bass and the way it sort of voices the pickups as opposed to when you just change the treble and bass on the amp. So we'll play with the bass one first on the neck pickup. I've got the bass set sort of halfway on the guitar and this is what it's like on the amp. So what I'll do now is I'll turn the bass down on the amp and then on the guitar so you can hear that it's not, it's not doing what an amp EQ does. So we'll go down on the bass of the amp. So this is what it now sounds like. As opposed to... So now if I take the bass out of the neck pickup on the guitar, you'll hear it's not quite like doing it on the amp. And if I roll the bass all the way in on the guitar... Obviously that would work a lot better with a, you know, an overdriven sort of tone. But you can hear just what that's doing. And now we'll do the same on the bridge pickup, but messing around with the treble one instead. So, treble's all the way up on the guitar. On the amp it's just under half, and this is sort of what we got. Taking the treble down on the amp gives you this. So we'll put it back where it was and take it off the guitar itself. So what we'll do now is we'll go back to some regular sounds, you know, clean, dirty, across the pickups. Um, it was quite difficult to explain what I mean with this system, but hopefully that little bit, you know, kind of comes across. So let's get to some other sounds. Mm -hmm. 